what do Palestinians or really Arabs who live in the West Bank, Judea and Samaria really think about Israel and the conflict? The impression we're given from the media and from Western institutions is that the Palestinians are oppressed, they have no agency, they've, they're just totally hard done by and if only Israel were to try and make peace and to undo their original sins, everything would be fine. Well, let's actually find out from first-hand evidence. This is Zach Sage, who went very bravely to go and interview them, Arabs living in the West Bank, in Judea and Samaria, to find out what they actually believe and want. Have a watch. For months now, millions of people around the world have been chanting, Free Palestine. Well, I've decided to see Palestine. Welcome to the Wild West Bank. Are you supportive of Hamas? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. Are most Palestinians? Yeah. Palestinian people like Hamas. I'm with the resistance. Did you see the videos they posted of what they did on October 7th? Everything. And you're okay with all that? With everything they did. They killed innocent Israelis. They killed... Yes, no. they did. No. Yes, they did. Give me a picture for rape. Do you think Hamas should release the Israeli hostages? No. 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 <laughs> Nothing named Israel. There's nothing named Israel? Yeah. The Quran mentions Israel over a hundred times. Uh, Is Palestine mentioned in the Quran? No. No. The murders Hamas did on October 7th, is that okay? Yes. They have the right to do it! The problem is not Hamas. We should look at the bigger picture. They are living under occupation. But Israel left Gaza in 2005. True. What does Antifada mean? Violent. And neither one of us were born anywhere near 1940. We have to deal with the reality today. No. No, don't deal with the reality no, today. Britain brought all the uh, the criminal Jews since 1948. They can uh, go back. Holland, Iraq. Most of those places, they were kicked out. Of. Jews have not been killed or exposed to any struggle or any violence. No, not almost in every country in the Middle East. No. no that's true. Educate yourself. If they are kicked, it's because of their own actions. What did they do, besides being Jewish? They steal, they... Uh, they do all awful uh, deeds. Does anyone here hate Hamas? In the US, it's a big movement right now. Queers for Palestine. Are you supportive of that? No, we don't have it. You don't have gay people here? No. 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 It's like an alien. It would not be accepted. No, to be honest with you, no. Do you want to live with the Israelis in peace? Or no, no, I want one state solution. No Israel. So no more Israel. Yes. Israel wiped off the map. Palestine, فقط. We should delete Israel. So you would not be okay with a two-state solution? Of course not. Israelis uh, prisoners when they released from Gaza. They was smiling. You think that these people are genuinely smiling after being held hostage? <laughs> They're scared by their life. Who put this in your brain? I think you're in denial about Hamas. So Hamas implements strict Sharia law. It looks like in Ramallah, at least, you're free to show your hair. Would you want Hamas to be in charge? They would uh, allow for elections. But they Why not? had elections in Gaza in 20 years. That's a fact. Maybe people there want them. Thanks for watching this report. It truly is a wild, wild West Bank. Peace in the Middle East. Yeah, and that comes from the Facts for Peace uh, site. Well, um, a few takeaways in my books, at least, is that number one, there's this non th there's this notion that somehow you have Hamas, but then there's all the Palestinians who are almost held hostage by Hamas, and that as Joe Biden says, Hamas does not represent the Palestinians. Well. I mean, apart from just going around and speaking to people who are living there, the polling that we see time and again done asks Arabs living in Gaza or in Judea and Samaria, do they support uh, what Hamas did on October 7th? The vast majority do. And we see here, just from getting a quick sample of uh, interviews, In and bear in mind, this is in the West Bank. This is not Gaza, which is run by Hamas. This is meant to be run by the so-called moderate Palestinian Authority. They're not moderate, by the way, um, when they're basically funding terrorists who commit atrocious acts inside of um, Israel. But uh, what we're seeing here is that there is clearly a culture <laughs> that, that is simply 
anti-Semitic, that will not make any space for the Jewish people's uh, state, and uh, that has a narrative that basically says that they have no right to be there and that they don't want any kind of peace settlement. And so that yet this is all Israel's fault? Well, ultimately, what this all comes down to, the fundamental question, which actually many of the people who uh, Zach spoke to uh, were saying, it comes down to this. Ultimately, what they're saying is the Jews have no right to be here. This is not their land. It's not Jewish land. They're foreigners. They're invaders. They're criminals. Well, this is why we need to become even more unequivocal and clear in saying in no uncertain terms that this is unequivocally the Jewish people's homeland. It is our ancient homeland. It is Jewish land. It is Jewish territory. We've got to stop talking about this notion of a two-state solution because all that's doing is telling them, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you've got a point. Yes, we are guilty. Look at the archaeological diggings and find the ancient mikvahs, the ancient coins, the ancient buildings, the temple itself, the ruins. What is the kotel? What is the western wall? The outer wall of the second temple. Who were all the great prophets of Israel? Where did they come from? What land did they live in? And then I would ask them, it seems like they clearly he wasn't even aware that even the Quran itself says that the land was assigned by God to the, to the Jewish people. But I think also we need to start speaking in a religious voice, in a theological voice. We're living in a religious region, Israel is. Got to stop talking to the Western world, who aren't the primary players in this conflict, and instead be talking to a religious world and tell them that this is the land that God gave to us. There's no higher authority than that. He is the creator of the universe. We're all guests in his world. And funnily enough, it's the one argument we don't seem to have tried yet. Talk all about, oh, well, democracy and international law supports our right to be there and even our ancient connection and all this. They're not interested in that. They really believe that this is theirs by divine right. And so that's the kind of language that we should be talking. It's the only thing we really should be saying above all else. So that clearly is what's producing all of this. There is a deep-seated belief that the Jews don't have the right to be there. But I'll tell you something funny. I know this may sound odd to you, but listening to some of these people, I know there are some that are poisoned beyond help, beyond redemption, in terms of their hatred. But I feel like some of these people, if they just could grasp the truth, they could really understand the truth. And if we articulated that truth that I just discussed in a clear manner, it might actually start to turn some of them and might start to change their ways. I do believe that in the end, and this isn't just my hope, but it's almost what the Torah seems to imply because Isaac and Ishmael end up becoming, uh, re repairing their, their relationship. Ishmael returns, he, he repents. I do believe that we will one day become the best of friends, the best of partners in both serving God in our own unique ways. And that's the thing we have to cling to and hope to. And it may be a bit of a surprising turn for me to take in this video, which is showing so much of the problem. But I think for me also, it hones in why education is such an important component. And it really reaffirms to me everything that we're doing on this channel. Hi, thank you so much for watching. To watch another one, click here. To stay up to date with all our content, click here to subscribe. And if you're able to, you can help support JTV to grow and grow by clicking join below this video, where you can become a member and get perks, including early access to videos and private live discussions with me. But most of all, you'll be partnering with us on our mission to change the world.